Let's hear from some people in the audience. I want to know what is on the minds of the people. We do this on the Friday show via discord at davidpackmancom slash discord. And we're going to start today with Bert in New Jersey. Bert in New Jersey, welcome to the David Pakman show. What's going on? What can I do for you? Hey, Bert, great to talk to you. Likewise. Um, you know, I've heard you describe yourself as a democratic socialist. Before, I've never right? done that. Never once in my life. No, I'm a social Democrat. All right. So social Democrat. That's right. Uh, had them reversed. Um, but the, I think the problem with that title is that people hear social and they go, oh, he's a socialist, right? You saw sure. this like Patrick Beck David, and then they don't listen to what you say. And then they've labeled you as a socialist and then end of conversation, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think I think you would argue you actually might be for less socialism. You just want to see it go to the right places, right? Like if you think of the United States um, just from quantity, from dollars output, right? We are the most socialist country in the nation. The Department of Defense employs the most amount of people in the country, right? We're the most socialist when you, country in the nation. When you think of it, just from the the dollars being output. Do you mean right? in the world? Do you mean the most socialist country in the world? Uh, I mean the most volume of socialism, right? We have the most amount of dollars being put into the socialist programs, be it the military, right? The biggest one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, whether we call those socialist programs or that the country has decided to socialize certain things. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. These are mostly semantic conversations and it's fine to have semantic conversations. You're not wrong that maybe calling social democracy um, something like uh, empathetic capitalism is better. You know, here's the here's the problem. Anytime you try to force a name change to be more suitable or more advantageous, you also increase the amount of confusion as to whether the new name refers to the same thing, the same thing as the old thing. So uh, we can have the semantic discussion. I think you're not wrong that some people hear social democracy and think it's a form of socialism when in fact it's a form of capitalism. I think the, the better path forward is if people simply become educated about, OK, here, what are the policies I want? A lot of people don't even know, right? For what are the policies I want? Which candidates are offering me that? And yeah. making that connection, I think, will go way further than workshopping a new name for social democracy. That's just my opinion. Right. I, I think you would agree that, um, uh, you know, you don't think the trillions of dollars we spent in Afghanistan and Iraq were worth it, right? You'd rather see that spent elsewhere. Could have yes. free health people, right? I agree. So I think when you're, when you're talking to someone on the right, like a Patrick Bay David or someone, yep. um, if you make the point, hey, actually, I want less overall uh, socialism. I just want it in the right place. Mm. They'll be forced to kind of agree with you. They, they can't say no to that, right? Because you kind of call them on their bluff. They're so like, you know, oh, one of the things I've learned over the years of doing this, Bert, is sometimes we on the left feel like if I just say this, they'll have no retort and I'll have them. And then they just squirrel or sneak away in one way or the other. So and any time you come across something where you say they'll have no choice but to agree, remember that they'll have a choice and they'll find it. That's one thing I've learned. That is true. That's true. Yep. Yeah, just food for thought. Next time in that situation, just play it out. I'm curious what happens. So. No, I think it's a good idea that they'll have something, but I still think it's a good idea. <laughs> Bert from Jersey. I appreciate it. Thank you, David. All right. There goes Bert from New Jersey.